everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome hit the subscribe button because i know you're gonna want to stay i know you're gonna want to stay if you're returning hey besties it's so good to see you guys again so i caved i caved and i'm finally making the video that everybody has been asking for i'm going to do my everyday makeup routine i'm not even calling this a tutorial this is by no means a tutorial if you need to learn like the actual skill of doing makeup there are a million and one of very skilled makeup artists here on this platform but i'm just going to show you guys what i do for me i'm not a professional i am just somebody who likes to put herself together every day feel good in the skin that she's in and serve face occasionally you know just just sometimes something slight so i'm gonna go through everything that i do listen to me listen up listen hear me good i'm not a professional so there are a lot of things that i might do wrong and that's okay because it's my face and i do what works best for me i'm not telling you that this is what you need to do these are the products that you need to use i'm not saying none of that i'm just here to show you guys how i beat my face every day and we're gonna do like a soft glam look today because really it's hot outside i don't have anywhere to go and really i just can't commit to any of the complicated stuff like it's just i'm not that girl anymore i'm not college re she was about that life. She would slay to the gods, honey, spend hours and all this time on her makeup. Now, mm -mm. if it takes me any more than 15 minutes, I don't want it. I do just want to mention that I will have everything linked down below in the description box. I will also insert the names and probably a photo of each of the products that I use. I use a combination of drugstore and higher end. Right now I'm really into Fenty Beauty, but I'll also share some of my drugstore products that I like to use as well. You do not need to go out and spend a ton of money on new makeup. Please do not do that. Please, please do not do that. That is not what I want you to get from this video. The drugstore products, they be coming through. So for real, for real, like I'm a dr I'm a drugstore girl. That's that's just me because I really just can't commit anymore. But like like I said, makeup is not really my thing anymore. But I do like to beat my face a little bit and just like look presentable throughout the day. Also, I'm using a lot of older brushes, like brushes from like sets from years ago. So if I can't find them, I can maybe try and find dupes for you. But pretty much all of my brushes are from Morphe. Realistically speaking, they're just like basic brushes for real, for real because <laughs> I'm basic. All right, so without further ado, we're just gonna jump into this video because I'm nervous and I feel like I'm gonna keep rambling. So let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, my skin has a lot of texture, a lot of character, hey girl. So I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I'm breaking out a little bit because mother nature will just never let me be great. But this is what I'm working with. I did my skincare routine. I don't use primer. I just feel like if you use your skincare and you use good products and you set your face really well, you don't really need primer. I always feel like I oil through or produce a lot of oil when I use primer so I don't use it but feel free to use it there's a lot of construction going on outside so I might have to do a voiceover but bear with me so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my lip balm and just put it on my lips because they're crusty look at them mm not it i'm using the fenty beauty pro kisser luscious lip balm in the shade hint hint i'm just going to start off by putting that on my lips because we don't we don't want to be crusty okay we don't want to be crusty I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm gonna have to do a voiceover, so stay, stay tuned. All right, so jumping right in, I'm starting with my brows. I really don't fill them in these days, so I'm just taking the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Deep Brown, and I'm going to rake it through my brows until my hairs are tamed. Next, I'm going to carve out the bottom portion of my brows using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 250. I like to apply mine to the back of my hand and dip my brush in it for more control. For the top of my brows, I'm going to use my foundation as it's closer to my skin tone and will be easier to blend with the rest of my face makeup. Now with that same concealer, I'm going to prime my eyelids and buff it out with the brush, but you'll notice I switched to my beauty sponge because I didn't like the way the brush was blending it out, but my beauty sponge got the job done, okay? All right, now I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Cashew just to set the concealer before applying some eyeshadow. 
Now taking my Morphe 350 palette, I'm taking the shade Sighting as my transition color and I'm blending into my crease and the area slightly above. Listen, I know this will look really fast in the video, but baby, we were blending for a quick minute. In that same palette, I'm taking the shade Paradox. I'm gonna pack it in the corner of my eyes and then begin to blend it, keeping it mainly in the crease just to give some dimension. Now you know we need to add some shimmer because we're trying to serve, okay? I'm using the shade Legacy, which is this beautiful bronzy shimmer shadow. Keeping it mainly on my eyelid, I'm packing it until it's to my standard, essentially. I'm just going back in with my matte shadow brush using any product left over just to blend out any harsh lines from the shimmer shadow. Now for my absolute favorite part of my makeup routine, the foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 385 and I'm just going to buff that out evenly being sure to get my neck. This product is super great for those who struggle with hyperpigmentation as it's very buildable and super lightweight. Taking that same Fenty Beauty concealer from earlier, still in the shade 250, I'm going to highlight the highest points of my face. Underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, y'all I cannot draw a straight line to save my life, it's sickening. Look at it. My upper lip area, my chin, forehead, and the sides of my mouth. Now taking my beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend out my concealer until it's even. Y'all see this harsh line? We're gonna soften it later with some eyeshadow, but I'm taking the top of my beauty sponge and blending the end of the line slightly down to reduce that harshness. Now taking that same setting powder in the shade Cashew, I'm gonna set my face everywhere I've added concealer. I really must say this powder is super lightweight and gives great coverage. It definitely kept my makeup in place all day and doesn't get cakey. My girl really, really did her thing with this line, y'all. After about a minute or so of letting the powder sit on my face, I'm just taking a brush and wiping off all the powder. Next, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 400 and setting the rest of my face. I even use it to dust off any excess powder to reduce the ashiness or flashback I might get from the setting powder. Now it's time to bronze up the face a little bit. I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm too lazy to actually contour, so I'm just gonna add some slight color back to my face, mainly using the Sculpt shade since it requires less blending in my opinion. I definitely gotta get this double chin because she be poking. Like she always wanna be seen, but girl, not today. I still don't know how to contour my nose correctly. I just do what's best for me and keep it pushing. This is really as good as it's going to get, but she looked cute in the end. Now I'm quickly just gonna reverse contour to clean up any errors that I might have made while bronzing up my face and then immediately brushing off the powder before it comes too severe. Mm -hmm. 
going back to my Morphe 35O palette, I'm going to take the shade Paradox and I'm going to buff it in under my bottom lashes and extend it out to soften that harsh line on the outer portion of my eye. And now it's blush time. So I don't use actual blush, I just use an orangey eyeshadow and call it a day. I'm taking the shade Wild Card from my 350 palette and applying it to the top portions of my cheeks and a little onto my nose to add some color back to my face. Now you know it's an absolute must that we set all of this hard work because I'm gonna be sick if it doesn't last me all day. I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray and I use a lot because it's makeup insurance to me. Now it's time to highlight. I'm taking the highlight shade from that same contour palette and highlighting all of the areas where the sun will naturally hit my face. We're almost done y'all, I promise. It's time to finesse some lashes because as you can see, I don't have any, so I'm thinly coating whatever little lashes I do have with the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara in the color black. Now what we're not gonna do is grab me up for this palette. She's been through a lot, but we still love her. I'm taking the Morphe 15T palette and using the shade Throwback as my lip liner. Now you could obviously use a lip liner, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like sharpening mine, so this will work just fine. For gloss, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. This is honestly my favorite gloss at the moment. She's everything. And finally, we're getting into these lashes. I'm using the Alley Crown Fluffy Mink Lashes. I purchased them at Amazon. I will link them below. Wow, immediately they're giving because child, I have no lashes. It was given Naked Mole Rat before and now it's giving that girl and I love it here. going to be the wrap up of this video the look came out so cute honestly listen if you have textured skin skin with acne hyperpigmentation like all of the imperfections listen i had to remind myself that god made me beautiful so what might not be beautiful to society standards is beautiful in the eyes of god and that's all that's mattering to me at this point so if you feel like you can't wear makeup because your skin is imperfect or if you feel like you can't leave the house without makeup because of the imperfections in your skin stop it. This is a reminder to myself. This is a reminder to everyone, anyone who is watching this. You are beautiful with or without makeup. And honestly, okay, you got some pimples. Okay, you have some hyperpigmentation. Is that the end of the world? Because we know that the personality is flawless, okay? We know that the personality, we know that the vibe, we know that your spirit is beautiful. So I just wanted to give you guys this video so that you guys can see what I do pretty much every day. I took a little bit more time today, but realistically speaking, this happens in about 12 minutes every day. But you know, for the video, we had to make it look all nice and together but that's basically going to conclude this video if you guys like this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and share also be sure to turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video and until next time babes i'll see you in my next mm -hmm.